guys welcome back to my channel my name is caitlin today i have a nashville clothing haul and try on to share with all of you i booked a trip to nashville for my birthday and i need some help picking out my outfits and deciding what i'm going to wear so i have some evening wear for like bars and broadway and then i have some daytime stuff for shopping around 12th south and the gulch and i even have this travel day outfit that says champagne on it um, so stay tuned throughout the video. I will be sharing a bunch of different outfits I want your opinion on if you think this would clash too much if I took it uh, took a picture with the sign that says like rosé all day or Nashville or something So let me know your thoughts um, I will try to link as much as I can down below I have cowboy boots I found from Amazon that are really nice really great price um, some really cute items from Shein actually um, things from Old Navy, Express, Altered State. So um, yeah, I won't talk too much anymore. Let's just go ahead and jump right in to the try-on portion of this video. And it ties in the front, and then I'm wearing my high-waisted A-line jean shorts from Old Navy. I really like this. I think I'm going to wear this um, our first night there when we go out. I think it's just a really fun and very country outfit. And this is what it looks like up close in the mirror here. As you can see, it has this cute like red bandana detail. And then I'm pairing it with these white boots that I got from Amazon. And again, I will try to link everything down below. But to me, this outfit just like screams Nashville. So this is my second outfit. I also got this from Shein and it's like this very fringy crop top with um, like this beaded tassel going down. It's very bridal and I'm not sure like if necessarily it's the vibe, but I'm wearing it with the same shorts and boots. I would definitely wear it with different shorts if I had worn these the previous day. So I'm gonna try it on with a couple other pairs of shorts, even though I really love the way these shorts fit me and they're like my favorite shorts that I have. I'm also a little worried that this might not stay up. It's like a little loose on me for sure. And I can pair it with this bag that I got from Amazon. It's a dupe for the Alexander Wang bag. And I think it would look really good with this outfit. So these jean shorts are from American Eagle. They are the Tom Girl. And they're not as high-waisted, but I actually think they look better with this shirt because um, I think having a little bit more skin exposed <laughs> makes the shirt look better. And I also think it looks better with um, like a lighter wash for sure. So I think this might be um, another option. Maybe I'll wear this on Saturday. My birthday is on Friday and I really want to wear that red outfit Friday. So this might be my Saturday outfit. I'm sorry you guys can see my purses here. It's just so challenging to film these videos like when you don't have someone filming you, if that makes sense. This is another option that I had, but I don't think I'm going to wear it. I'm just going to show you guys a bunch of different things, honestly. But I got this from Altered State. So it's kind of um, like this green color pattern shirt. And these shorts are also from Altered State. And they're these like festival fringy shorts. I actually feel like they're a little too full coverage for like a Nashville bar. And I don't know, I might try the shirt on with a different pair of shorts but overall i'm not like a huge fan of it i like the other options better i do need to tie this tighter because it's not tied correctly i do think it looks better with these shorts these are the tom girl from american eagle and a darker wash but i think overall i think this shirt is like too full coverage for like what i want and i don't think it's like cropped enough like it may be too big, I'm not really sure, but I don't think I'm gonna wear this outfit at all. I'm just like not over the fringe. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but this shirt has like these black fringes. I am super fan of the high neck on my body type. I have a flatter chest, so sometimes having more going on up here, I think looks a little bit better on me. And again, with the Tom Girl shorts, I definitely like this outfit better. Um, I feel like it's a little basic, but let me add some accessories. What do we think with my cowboy hat? <laughs> I feel like a farmer. I'm not sure you guys. I don't know if this is like the right kind of hat. <laughs> 
Okay, so I tried them on with these Express shorts and these are like super like short and skimpy, but I think it looks a lot better with this. It's crazy to me how certain shirts and certain tops like look so differently paired with other items. And I feel like this is more of the vibe. It's a little bit more like revealing. You can kind of actually tell that there's fringes on the top. And yes, it is basic. It's just a black top with jean shorts, but I do like this option definitely better than the green shirt from Altered State. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed. So this shirt is of course from Sheen because I did a huge clothing order through them. And it's the silver like bandeau style shirt. And then I have these Altered State shorts and these shorts are a little bit more coverage, but I think it looks good because the top is less coverage. And then I have them paired with the white boots. Okay. I, I think this is a vibe and I'm going to wear it. I'm a little, like, this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I like it. I like it. Okay, this is my last option for going out. I actually found it at Burlington. So random, right? It's this denim dress with these rhinestones on it. And... I'm actually liking it like so much better with the boots. I feel like the boots just make everything pop and I love this bag with it. It just screams disco cowgirl. However, this dress is very tight and I feel like if I'm even slightly bloated, I'm not gonna wanna wear this like at all because it really shows everything. Um, I don't know, my mom was not a fan, <laughs> but I kind of like it and I think I'm going to take it. I'm not sure. I think it might be kind of an in the moment decision if I want to wear this or not. It's definitely very like Vegas disco cowgirl type attire. Okay, so transitioning to some daytime fits. Um, I think this is what I'm going to wear on the first day. Um, it's this denim dress, dark denim. Um, I got it at a local boutique, so this is like the one thing I won't be able to link at all. But I think it's very flattering how it cinches in the waist and hopefully it will look cute in pictures. And I'm pairing it again with these white boots, so hopefully these boots hold out because I think I'm planning on wearing them literally in every single outfit. But I feel like this is just very country, kind of simple, good for shopping around 12th South, good for, you know, taking a picture at the Nashville mural, that kind of thing. This is another option I have. I got this at Burlington Coat Factory. This is a little bit shorter and more revealing. I feel like I could also wear this for that first day there too. It's brown and floral. It has a similar cut to the top. It's just like a lot shorter on me and like a little more form fitting. So I don't know. I don't know which one is more flattering. Like, is it more flattering to go shorter or longer? I don't know. Is this really Nashville? I can't decide. I probably will end up bringing both. This is another daytime outfit that I have. It's this white eyelet romper from Express. Um, I think it's really cute, but I'm just concerned about how it will look in pictures. I feel like rompers can be hard to pull off in pictures because already like from this angle, I feel like it's not, it's not like super flattering, like unless I like hike it up kind of like that. Um, so I don't know. I do like this. I might wear it on our last day when we just have a brunch and then we're going to the airport. But I can't decide. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the romper or not really? So this is also from Express. It's this like peachy and white, um, like leopard sort of print. You can't really tell on camera. Um, and I thought this might be cute to wear to white limousine. But I'm not sure. Once again, I feel like it's kind of flowy and a little bit more oversized. I don't know if that will look good in pictures or not. I feel like you can like kind of play with dresses like this in pictures though and like sort of like pose. Because um, I feel like posed, it looks kind of cute. But if I was just doing like straight on, definitely wouldn't be super flattering. But it's very comfortable. So I don't know. So I also have this white puffed sleeve dress from Old Navy and I feel like it has these cutouts on the side. Um, I'm like wearing the wrong bra with it because you can see it. I'd have to go with those like sticky boobs, but 
I feel like this is like borderline really cute and then borderline like not at all. I don't know. I feel like these are like really trendy. These like puffed sleeves, cut out type dresses. I've seen this same dress from like Madewell and um, Princess Polly, but I don't know if this is me. I feel like this is very like proper, but it could be cute as well. I don't know guys, I need help. My daytime outfits are not slaying. Or do I wear this dress, which I got for my Chicago trip in September? It's like this black and white gingham. Okay, I'm gonna say no. I feel like black, I don't wanna wear black during the day in Nashville. Even though it is gingham, I, I don't wanna do that. Plus I feel like this would look cute with like white tennis shoes and I'm not planning on bringing white tennis shoes to Nashville. Okay, we are eliminating this. This is also from Old Navy. I don't know if I said that, but Old Navy, I've been like low key into Old Navy. They have some cute finds. Finally, this is my travel day outfit, which is extremely cute. And I kind of want to wear it to brunch at the Hampton Social. So it has um, this Navy t-shirt, gold letters, champagne from Express. I bought it for my friend's bachelorette party a couple years ago. And then these are like paper bag waist, paper bag waist. Is that right? I don't know. I'm getting tired. This is the end of this video. Um, shorts from Forever 21 that I just picked up recently. I feel like this is so freaking cute. Uh, I kind of like this better for brunch. See, I don't know. I feel like my body type looks better in like shorts and a shirt or like pants and a shirt because it gives me like a more defined waist. I don't know though. And we're back. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget everything will be linked down below in the description box. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see my actual Nashville vlog and all the adventures we plan on having. If you have any Nashville wrecks, please share them with me. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.